good morning children today let us see one most important theorem midpoint theorem the line segment joining the midpoints of two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side and is half of it so what is given in the question a triangle abc is given and there is a line segment joining the midpoint of the two sides of a triangle that is we are taken d as the midpoint of ab and e as the midpoint of ac so this line segment we have to prove that is this line segment de we have to prove is parallel to bc that is the third side of the triangle is bc so de is parallel to bc and de is half of bc so first let us write what is given given triangle abc where d and e are midpoints of ab and ac respectively we have to prove see the what you have to prove it is parallel to the third side and is half of it that is de is parallel to bc and de is equal to half of bc now for proving this let us do a small construction that is we are going to produce this de to df such that de is equal to ef and also we are going to join this cf so what is the construction then we are going to produce this de to df such that de is equal to ef and also we are going to join this cf so produce de to f such that de is equal to ef also join fc now we are going to take these two triangles and prove that these two triangles are congruent that is the triangle ade and cef these two triangles we are going to take and prove that these two triangles are congruent so if you are going to observe in these two triangles vertically opposite angles are equal so let us name these angles as angle 1 and 2 second since e is the midpoint of ac i can say ae is equal to ec third this angle dae is equal to angle fce angle let us name it as angle 3 and 4 angle 3 is equal to angle 4 so now you are able to observe in these two triangles this is angle side angle here also angle side and angle by asa these two triangles are congruent and by cpct i can say cf is equal to da but you know da is equal to bd therefore i can say bd is also equal to cf now bd is equal to cf and bd is parallel to cf therefore bd fc is a parallelogram so let me write this now proof in triangle ade and triangle cfe angle 1 is equal to angle 2 vertically opposite angles second one ae is equal to ec has e is the midpoint of ac and angle 3 is equal to angle 4 vertically opposite angles therefore you can say triangle ade r AED. Anyway, you can name it triangle AED is congruent to triangle CEF by ASA.
सो ट्रायंगल ए ई डी इज कॉन्ग्रुवेंट टू ट्रायंगल सी ई एफ बाय ए एस ए सो बाय सी पी सी टी यू कैन से ए डी इज इक्वल टू सी एफ एंड ऑल्सो एंगल ए डी ई एंगल ए डी ई इज इक्वल टू एंगल सी एफ ई बट दीज आर ऑल्टरनेट एंगल्स therefore you can say ad is parallel to cf but you know since d is the midpoint of ab but ad is equal to db implies bd is equal to cf and bd is parallel to cf therefore This BDFC is a parallelogram. BDFC is a parallelogram. In a parallelogram, the opposite sides are equal. So you can say B DF is parallel to BC and DF is equal to BC. But how can I write this DF since E is the midpoint? We extended this DE to EF. i can write df as 2 times de so 2 times de is equal to bc or de is equal to half of bc hence you have proved de is equal to half of bc and de is parallel to bc so this is what midpoint theorem states that if two midpoints are joined together in a triangle then that line segment is parallel to bc and also half of bc hope you understood this theorem